Hello friends, in my previous video we saw how to create a custom repository and access locally from the same server. In this video what we are going to see is we will we will configure some HTTP one HTTP server and we will export these packages to remote servers. From remote servers we can configure this URL in the M repository and we can install packages from anywhere okay let's start then we first of all what we need is we need to install HTTPD server this is the same VM I'm using uh, I used this for my previous video which is Red Hat 7.2 and these are the repositories I have with me and this is the repository we have configured in our previous session if you want to learn how to do that you can just watch my uh, previous video that I will give the link of my previous video in the description of this uh, this video okay now let's start first we need to install sorry we need to install HTTPD I think I have already installed it let me check let me install okay this is already installed and nothing to do so I have inst already installed to save my time and uh, let's start the HTTPD server service now okay I'm not going much configurations in HTTP I will just do the basic configuration just to access our repository okay and I'm enabling to start it automatically during the reboot okay and what I'm going to do is I'm creating a uh, directory under the HTML the var www HTML now we have started our uh, our uh, HTTP service let's check uh, let's check whether this is accessible from a URL I'm just checking yeah this is uh, I'm getting the URL from the from the browser okay uh, also HTTP is working fine now let's uh, let's create a few folders that we need we need to configure our repository this is I'm creating a repose folder under the default path of uh, HTTPD HTTPD document root okay I have created a repose directory here and what I'm going to do is we have already downloaded a uh, this uh, our rpms and uh, we have already created the uh, report data inside inside the uh, this folder this is report data that we have done in our previous session okay i'm using the same uh, report i'm not going to create a new report data since we, ha we have already done this and i'm going to use the same report data here what i'm going to do is i'm creating a soft link of this uh, of our repository of our actual repository to the to the document root of uh, our HTTPD service okay and using a soft link using hyphen ln hyphen s command okay now I have created is now let's check slash war ww html repos okay let's just check okay this is a soft link to this directory now we should have all our packages here right okay now that's all uh, what we need to do now let's just quickly check whether the url i mean uh, the uh, repository is accessible from a url like uh, var uh, repos slash but we create a PHP 7.0 okay yeah we can access it from a web browser then everything should be fine now what we do here is we will configure our currently we have our M repo list what we do is we will disable our local repository which is actually coming from uh, local using a file so I'm going to disable it now using m hyphen config manager disable hp local okay now if we check m repo list we should not have uh, it's there 
disable php local let me disable it uh, in this way there might be some problem when we created local.d php uh, here it's uh, enable this one still okay anyway fine now let's check yum repository okay we have removed uh, we have disabled our php local repository now what we are going to do is we will be uh, we'll be uh, configuring the repository using our httpd url okay again so this is the url we have tried to access and now i am going to create a file with the remote repo okay so earlier it was local repo now i'm creating a remote repo let's copy paste content of this file then i will explain this is the name it's a just a name it's a remote and it's here also remote here the, this is the only difference we have instead of a file we are using httpd with the ip of the machine i need to find ip i think already i have it here okay i have it okay yeah this is the repository from where we will get packages okay. now let's check yum repo list now okay we have a new repository here which is a php remote which is actually uh, from our HTTP server http server which is i'm accessing from the same server we can access like this from any remote servers okay now let's try let's do we have done this already disabling and now we have done this and just check what are the packages available in our php remote repository using disable i'm disabling all in the runtime and enabling only php 7.0 in remote and list available just quickly check yes we have uh, all these packages okay now just try we have already i think we have already installed uh, yeah, install php I think we have already installed mm, during our previous session Ah, okay i think i have removed it okay now if we install if we try to install php this is coming from php 7.0 yes okay looks all good php hyphen p which is 7.0 we have installed from our httpd http uh, repository m repository okay guys that's all Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.